Okay, let us see how we would factor something much larger. Uh, the first step here, I break everything up. So 14 is 2 times 7. A squared is AA, B, C, C, C. 21 is 3 times 7. A, B squared is BB, and then you have a C. And then you have 7, which is the same as 1 times 7. A, B, and C. Now if I take my red pen and underline common factors, here's what I get. I get that 7, 7, and 7 belongs to all of them. We call that a common factor. Okay, now A also belongs to all of them. So 7A is a greater common factor. But you can also see that they also have a B and a C. Each one also has a B and a C. So that would be the greatest common factor. So what have I done more than once? I have done 7, A, B, and C more than once. So whatever I have done more than once, the underlying things, whatever I've done more than once, I only have to do once. Everything else goes in the bracket. So what is left that I haven't underlined? From the first term, 2ACC. C. So that's 2AC squared. The minus sign wasn't underlined, so I'll put that in. From the second term, 3 and B. Then the plus sign wasn't underlined. Okay. Then from the third term, what's left? Well, I have taken out everything, so I just put down 1. You need to have a placeholder there. So that is called factoring out the common factor. And it is the very first thing that uh, you should look for in all factoring. Look for a common factor. Rule number one, factoring out the common factor.